Hey everyone, welcome back to Bono's Tech Stuff. Today, we get to unbox Razer's new external GPU enclosure, the Razer Core. So this box is quite big, not exactly what I was expecting, but um, we're gonna go ahead and open her up now. Welcome to the Cult of Razor. First, let's open up the accessories box. Power cable, standard, standard power cable. Standard issue instruction booklet. Some of the very highly coveted Razer stickers that have the shiny, back in the day we call it holographic look on them. And then the Thunderbolt cable, which is really short not what I was expecting. Really short Thunderbolt cable. It looks just like the USB 3 cables, obviously. And that is everything in the accessories box. Let's set that aside for a moment. While we get onto the whole reason why we're both here. This thing is heavier than I expected. Full, full metal body here, just like the razor blade stealth. So for a size comparison, here is my razor blade stealth next to the razor core. And this thing is beautiful. <clears throat> On the front and the top, there's these grills hopefully you guys can see those and then on the back obviously we've got the four usb ports ethernet thunderbolt power Hopefully you guys can see that inside right there. Looks super sick. Got the power supply right along here with the power switch already turned on, it looks like, on the inside. I forgot my graphics card in the car. I will be right back. 
And with the magic of video editing, I am back with my graphics card. So previous to doing this video, I did not have a graphics card that was compatible with the Razer Core. And so my wife let me go out and buy a GTX 960. So that's what we're gonna put in here. In the future, I will have a video on how to set up the Razer Core, uh, how to install the graphics card and hook it up to your Razer Blade Stealth or the new Razer Blade that just came out. But I'm just way too excited not to put it in there and try it out right now. Think that'll fit? I just realized that I don't have any power in this room, so I might have to get back to you guys on hooking it up, but, uh... And here we are with it all hooked up. We have the Razer Core plugged into the Razer Blade Stealth, and it is pushing out to two monitors, accepting input from a keyboard and mouse, as well as Ethernet. I also wanted to show off some of the lighting effects. The wave is pretty cool, but my personal favorite is just plain red. How good that looks in there. So sick. Unfortunately, you guys, I made a major mistake and chose this spot to film, which does not have any power. Did not think that through. So stay tuned for the next video where I will show you how to set up the Razer Core, get it all going on your Razer Blade Stealth or your Razer Blade, and I will see you guys in the next video.